in January of 1996, I went to work for Jim um, to answer fan mail. And the job just kept evolving and evolving, and I became what he called his right arm. My name is Alan Romanchik. I started working uh, for Jim uh, about eight years ago. I was brought on as a, uh, for continuity. Uh, by the time I came on, there were well over 1,500 uh, characters in the Wheel of Time world. I know what happened to whom and when. I can amaze people by remembering people's eye color and hair color. And if there's something we need to check happened, I can find it pretty quickly, pick up a book, flip to the page, and get it. Developing timelines, coordinating action and characters, uh, measuring distances from one location in the world to another, uh, all of that uh, nitty-gritty detail that has to be done, someone has to do it. This translated in his filing system to something I, I had never encountered before. He had uh, what, I, what I could only describe as a maze-like hierarchical system of files. Brandon has been great, and he's got three of us that are emailing him, and we're doing this constantly now for over a year. Poor Brandon, who is an enormous gentleman as well as a very, very good writer. The material that Robert Jordan left begins with the outline for what will now be the final three books. Um, notes, some scenes, and more words in unpublished notes than have been published so far in the entire Wheel of Time. And he left behind tapes, recordings, which were then dictated and transcribed and given to me um, of him just talking about the last book and what m he wanted to be in it and the, the important events and the important, uh, the important scenes and all of these things. Um, all of these materials were you know, you've got a file here that's only got a few paragraphs in it, and a file here that's 30 pages long, and a file here, and a file here. Just dozens of different files just scattered all over the place. Some about all of these characters, and some about, oh, this thing needs to happen. And then lots and lots and lots and lots of notes of how everybody ends up. Um, the, the thing we have, I think, the most information on is the, the two things, the world itself everything in the world, all the characters, and then how everything has to be. We know very specifically lots about how the world is going to end up. It picks up where Knife of Dreams left off, and for the rest, read and find out. I've always wanted to say it. I, th I think there's one thing we can safely say, though. The last battle is coming. <laughs>